Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most underrated guards in the entire NBA, Drew Holiday, has been sent to the Milwaukee Bucks. It is going to be a fantastic time for him, and the Milwaukee Bucks gave up a significant amount of pieces to get Drew Holiday to the Milwaukee Bucks. So, talking about the trade, New Orleans and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks had to give up Eric Bloodsoe, George Hill, I believe three first round draft picks and two draft swaps. And obviously the Pelicans had to give up Drew Holiday. What a fantastic deal, I must say, for the Pelicans first off. Again, I have a feeling they're trying to go younger and they know they didn't really want Drew Holiday in the books. They were trading, they were looking to trade him for a while. I don't know why you'd want to trade Drew Holiday. I think he's really a great, a great player. But again, if you did want to trade him, this is the type of trade that you should have got and you did get. So you got a fantastic player in Eric Bloodsoe that I think can be a very good defensive player for the North. Orleans Pelicans. Again, another trade asset potentially for them there. George Hill, who I think is a big loss for the Milwaukee Bucks. I believe he was leading the league at one point in three-point scoring, which is um, a big loss for any team. And of course, Milwaukee Bucks will miss George Hill, I think, very, very much. But ultimately... You have to say this is, again, another good trade for both teams. Again, the Milwaukee Bucks had to give up so much. But again, when you're looking for a player to help build a star without trying to trade um, Chris Middleton or Giannis, because you're not going to do either of them, are you? It's, you have to give up a lot to get a player like Drew Holiday on that team. So I think they did the right thing here. However... There's a potential here that they could stagnate. And the reason why they could stagnate is because they gave up Eric Bledsoe for Drew Holiday with George Hill. That's a lot to give up. You're giving up two point guards for pretty much one. So if the Milwaukee Bucks still fail to compete in the NBA um, Finals, uh, if they don't make it to the NBA Finals, if they don't make it to the Conference Finals, then we could see big problems with the Milwaukee Bucks as they've done all this and have gotten nowhere. But again, it shows ambition, so I'm very happy that Drew Holiday is going to get his move to Milwaukee and he's going to be competing, hopefully, for a championship. And I'm very, very happy that the New Orleans Pelicans got a very, very hefty, um, very good trade package in return. For Giannis, I think this is a good step in the right direction to leaning him towards signing long-term with the Milwaukee Bucks. But if I was Giannis, I would still wait and see what exactly is going to transpire throughout the entire period. I would still wait probably until, until you know for certain what exactly the Milwaukee Bucks will do for the future. It's all fine and good doing all these trades now. But so many of these trades you could have done multiple times, multiple years ago. You could have kept Malcolm Brogdon, and you didn't. So the Milwaukee Bucks, it seems like they're trying desperately to keep Giannis. But if I was Giannis, I would still wait and see. However, a big thumbs up to getting Drew Holiday. I really think he's a fantastic player, and he will do absolute wonders for the Milwaukee Bucks. Just a bit too much, in my opinion, to get him. I don't think you needed to give up three first-rounders, two swap picks. But heavy draft compensation was what it, what, what it took to get them there. He's, they obviously believe that, it, for the, at least for the short term, they're not going to need those picks. I think it's a good deal for both teams. But again, if Milwaukee failed to deliver, this will ultimately yet again become another bad choice in terms of a trade. But we wait and see. I'm very, very happy with Drew Holiday. I can't wait to see him play for the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks, in my opinion, get a little bit stronger from this trade. And let's see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for more NBA videos and more trade-related videos. Take care and peace.